Modern day slavery, the public markets selling young girls for $1.14. When Christine Namrique left for Oman last September, she was hopeful she was on her way to helping her family you including her husband, James Obit, and seven children you fight crippling poverty. An agent had promised Namrique is among 16 Ugandans who've died in the Middle East over just the past year, according to an April report submitted by a parliamentary panel. These women you all of, migrant workers from across Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia have for several years complained of abuse in the Middle East. But over the past year, the public sale of women started at Arape, eastern Uganda's second largest market, located 180 miles northeast of the capital Kampala, in January 2018, says Adina Nagadi, the local government's officer in charge of the region's markets. Eight started with the auction of around five girls on each day of the market, but the number rose to 20 within two months, she says. The practice, complaints from a handful of these women, and a few others who, like Namri, thought they were traveling to the Middle East for jobs, have reached Interpol. The agencies you get, I sold my land a and sent it to her boss in Oman before the body was released, he says. Given the blood and toil that ties them, one might expect close relations between Uganda and Gulf nations. Udauman, George, at the cremation ceremony for Namri, much of the anger of hundreds of mourners was directed at Ugandan authorities. Officially, that ban, though, rarely works as a deterrent when there is a promise of significant economic gain being dangled before the downtrodden, experts say. Uganda has a per- because they're traveling to countries they're barred from legally working in, even those women who initially went thinking they were getting employed are scared to try and reach out to authorities, experts say. And their host country, some, like Stella Namitsi, who escaped from her masters in Jordan, return with tales of horror. We were lined up in when Zubedanaki Tendi complained to her Jordanian employers that her hands were aching from work, her boss gave her what she thought was water to wash her hands. It turned out to be, but what about prevention and law enforcement? Uganda police, meanwhile, the government is passing the buck around and hasn't been able to stop the practice. Minister of State, still, the open nature of the slave trade markets is leading to spiraling pressure on the government to act. That is unacceptable. Until that happens, more women are likely to return to Uganda as corpses, defrauded and enslaved in a foreign land. Fuckin' on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that Lookin' up, open the park,